Shakes Drayton, international track and field athlete and multiple gold medalist. When Perry's not training, she's taking part in international competitions. Hi Perry, thanks for joining us. No problem at all. Today we're looking at athletics, so what are some of the events involved? Athletics covers a lot of events in track and field. It's going to be long jump, high jump, discus, javelin, sprinting, hurdling, long distance running, and that's just a few of them. Wow, so there's loads that we can learn. Yes, yeah, some athletes even train for more than one event. So what event are we going to do first? A really impressive event is the long jump. It's a field event that combines speed, strength and agility. You have to run as fast as you can and jump as far as you can into a sandpit. Fantastic. Right, guys, so Perry's measured out the world record for the long jump, which is an incredible 8.95 metres, which is nearly as long as a double-decker bus. And you guys are standing where an athlete would jump from, and that line down there is where the world record holder landed in one jump. Wow! wow. And what I want you to do is see how many jumps it takes you to get from one end to the other. OK, guys, we're going to start first. Let's get ready and go! Cracking jumping from the team, but they've still got a long way to go. Four, five, six, seven, seven eight. eight! Wow! Well done, guys. Wow. Now it's Perry's team's turn. I can't believe an athlete jumped this in one go. Sensational! Eight, nine, ten! Well done, guys. That was a lot of hard work, right? Well, another way to add to your jump is to add momentum. And we can do this by running. So you run and then you jump. So let's run and jump. <laughs> Whilst these guys keep practising, here's a reminder for you at home. In athletics, you run, jump and throw. OK, guys, get around. It's team talk time. Does anyone know what type of ball this is? <laughs> Emily? Basketball. Excellent. Now, if you're wondering why I'm holding a basketball, it's because today that's exactly what we're going to be looking at. Basketball is a game where teammates bounce the ball up and down a court. They shoot the ball into a hoop to score points. Who knows what skills we use to play basketball? <laughs> Brinley? Dribbling. Fantastic. Ruby? Passing. Brilliant. Basketball uses a lot of the same skills that we use in football. And to tell us a little bit more, I've invited along a friend of mine. Joe Ickenwin, professional basketball player and all-round sporting hero. Joe is the London Lions captain, and when he's not training with his teammates, he's dribbling and scoring his way to basketball victory. Hi, Joe. Thanks for coming along. No problem, Rachel. Today, we're looking at basketball. What do we need to know when we're playing basketball? Well, basketball is a team sport, just like football. But we dribble the ball by bouncing it and we pass it to each other by throwing it. So if we're dribbling the ball, what are the three main things we need to remember? One, to bend your knees. Two, push the ball down. And three, to look around. Keep, Keep your knees, knees bent. bent. Push, push the, the ball, ball down. down. And look around. So, Joe, you set us up with a game. What do we need to do? OK, guys, so in your pairs, one at a time, you're going to take your basketball and dribble it to the cone. Go round and then dribble back, looking at your teammate. But remember, use your fingertips and don't slap the ball. They're off. Good job. Great concentration here. Keep bouncing. Don't slap it. Try and keep your head up. Great advice from Joe. Very keep nice. it down. Look well at your done. teammate on the way back. These guys are going to be football and basketball stars. Fingertips, pushing the ball down. Oh, fantastic. So you're going to bend your knees and you're going to get your hand out, remember? Just like that and dribble. Good job. Whilst these guys keep practising, here's a reminder for you at home. When playing basketball, keep your knees bent, push the ball down and look around you. Today we're going to be looking at cricket. It's a sport you play in teams with a bat and a ball. Cricket is quite different to football, so I've invited along a friend to tell us a bit more. Niall O'Brien, international cricketer, superstar batsman and wicketkeeper. When Niall's not playing for Ireland, he's playing with his county cricket club. 
Hi Niall, thanks for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. Can you explain to us a little bit about cricket? Yeah, cricket is a lot of football. There's two teams. Uh, one team takes in turns to bat and protect the wicket and bat the ball away, while the second team bowls and stands in the field. The wickets are made up of three poles with two pieces of wood on the top. They're called bales. It's kind of like a goal in football. The bowler is trying to hit it and the batsman is trying to defend it. Wow, sounds like an exciting game. So in cricket, we strike the ball with our bat instead of our boot. Is there a special way we need to hold the bat? If we place one hand on top of the handle, second hand underneath, and you can see here, we've got two Vs. That's how we hold the bat. OK, brilliant. Shall we have a go? See if you can make those Vs with your hands. Well done. Excellent. What are the three main things that we need to remember when batting in cricket? We need to make sure we lift the bat up, not too high, step towards the ball and swing through. So Niall set us up with a game. What do we need to do here? OK, so the aim of the game is to keep the ball on the ground, line ourselves up with the ball and hit the ball through the arch. Great start from the team. Lift your bat back, step forward and then swing your bat forward to hit. Yeah! Brilliant stuff. See that power? Nice. Dan lines it up. Lovely. Focus your eyes on the ball. Yeah! yeah! 1v, 2v, OK? That will give you control. Emily takes a swing. Nicely done. That's a good shot. Whilst these guys keep practising, here's a reminder for you at home. Raise your bat, step forward, and swing the bat forward to strike the ball. OK, guys, get around. It's team talk time. Yay! Today, we're going to be looking at a different sport called gymnastics. Does anyone know what things we might do in gymnastics? Ooh, Tay? Forwards rolls. Brilliant. Sienna? Cartwheels. Fantastic. There are loads of different things that we can do in gymnastics. And to tell us some more about it, I've invited along a good friend of mine. Dan Keatings, international gymnast and multiple gold medalist. Dan specialises in routines on the pommel horse. And when he's not in training, he can be found spinning and flipping his way to a win in top competitions. <laughs> Hi, Dan. Thanks for joining us. No problem. We want to learn a little bit about gymnastics today, and there's a couple of things we can try. Is that right? Yeah, so there's artistic gymnastics, which is what I mainly do, and we use equipment such as the beam, the bars, the pommel horse and the rings. There's also trampolining, where you have to do flips every time you bounce, and then there's rhythmic gymnastics, where you have to perform rolls and flips down on the mats. Wow, brilliant. So there's lots we can get involved with. But what are the three main things that are important in gymnastics? Strength, flexibility and your finish. So, Dan, what's the first thing we're going to do? Firstly, we're going to be looking at rhythmic gymnastics and we're going to start off with a forward roll. So you start by standing nice and straight. You crouch down, put your hands on the floor, straighten your legs, tuck your head in and push forward into the roll. Once you've completed the roll, the finish is really important. OK, off you go. Nice straight start from Sienna. Oh, a great Sienna. roll from Rex. <laughs> Tucked under. Stand up nice and straight and have that finished position. Good. Straighten those legs up. Fantastic. These pups are getting the hang of this now. Great stuff. Malachi goes for a roll. He's pleased with that one. Start by standing nice and straight. Crouch down. Put your hands on the floor. Straighten your legs. Tuck your head under. Push over. Make sure you have a good finished position. And push with your legs. Excellent. Whilst these guys keep practising, here's a reminder for you at home. For gymnastics, you'll need strength and flexibility. These skills are also used in football. And don't forget your finish. <laughs> this time, we're going to be doing cartwheels. So to start off, you need to stand side on to the line in front of you. As you step forward, place your hands either side of the line on the puppy paws and kick your legs over quickly. Go on then, Lucas. Good. Stand up nice and straight to finish. Don't forget the finish. A cracking cartwheel. Wow, good concentration. You ready, Ariana? Beautiful. Well done. They're getting the hang of this now. Remember, kick those legs over nice and quickly. Keep your body straight during the cartwheel. First four. Wow, really nice. Get those hands on the puppy paws. Well done. Good. And a nice finish. Dan Magnus, world record holder and professional footballing freestyler. Dan can often be found balancing footballs on his head or his feet. 
When he's not doing that, he's got a whole host of other ball tricks to show off. Hi, Dan. Hi, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Today we're looking at ball tricks. What are three main things that we could remember? Firstly, it's really important to relax so your body's not too stiff. Then you're ready to freestyle. But most importantly, guys, it's about having fun. So what sort of things could we try? Well, we'll work on a move called the rocket launcher. You get the ball in between your feet like this, jump by bending your legs up and catch. Blast off! <laughs> Great start from the team. Nicely done, Dan. That's it. Oh, brilliant stuff. Good job. Grip the ball slightly further in between your legs. Big jump. Yes, brilliant, Dan. Here's Rachel. Oh, <laughs> top stuff. Good try. Look at the ball. Get your hands ready. That's it. Big jump. Front up. Well done. Whilst these guys keep practicing, here's a reminder for you at home. To practice ball tricks, relax, freestyle, and have fun. Who knows a ball trick we can all try? Dan? Good idea, a bounce and keepy uppy. The whole team are having a go at this. Brilliant stuff. That's a really good one to help you with your all round ball control. Drop, kick, catch. Does anyone else have a ball trick? Tom? Knee bounces, brilliant move. Okay, so drop it, knee the ball up and catch. Excellent. Good concentrating, Rachel. Top stuff, George. One more trick. Jisara? Oh, I love that move. They play like a dream.